Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen, die Herrschaften. Ich freue mich, euch wieder zu begrüßen bei einer weiteren Runde Disco Elysium mit eurem lieben Odo. Ähm, das letzte Mal haben wir hier ähm, von der Tante, die... Hey, offen. Das klingt interessant, das heißt, man möchte mit mir sprechen, oder? I, uh, saw you poking around in Lady Driver's Lorry. She in trouble? Ich jetzt? Ich habe gerade vorhin mit dir darüber gesprochen. Uh, no trouble, she's going to be fine. There's going to be an investigation. Sorry man, I can't disclose this. Unofficial. Oh man, that's like a load off my mind. All that stress was messing up my rhymes. Oh, das wollen wir nicht. Auf keinen Fall. To what's, best for her. Mm -hmm. what's the plan with those rhymes anyway? All right, I had another question actually. Oh, you know. Tommy Leham's gonna be a musician. Sprechgesang, but with beats. Sprechgesang, but with beats. <laughs> the correct grammar is Tommy Lahom. My Tommy Lahom. Tommy Lahom was taken. My real name's Jerry Lafitte. Tommy's way better. Jerry Lafitte. It's more him. <laughs> All right, I have another question. Good luck with that, Tommy. Gotta run. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Okay. Next up. Nein, wir sprechen zuerst mit Dings, wir sprechen zuerst mit der Joyce und dann erst mit den Hardy-Typen. Einfach deshalb, weil... Ups, was haben wir hier? Ich habe offensichtlich früher was übersehen. The book appears to be erotica, but without actual erotic. Ah, das sehe ich jetzt wahrscheinlich, weil ich ein... Um, noch bin und deswegen ein Plus in Dings hab. Wir sollten uns beeilen. Habe ich da schon alle Flaschen aufgesammelt? Finde ich richtig. Achso, nein, da waren wir drinnen. Wieso wohnt die am anderen Ende des Piers der Stadt? You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. No, ah, yeah. Covered? Tja, vielleicht hätten wir auch eine Zigarette rauchen sollen. Hätte uns nämlich ein Plus und Sachen gegeben. Wait, where exactly are these eyes located? It doesn't really matter. And I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. Okay. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout, most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask... Will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, detectives. <laughs> In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. Ja, das will ich doch hoffen, weil ich raus mit der Information. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Mm -hmm. The words bloodbath 
sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. Ich sollte öfter Alkohol trinken, dann wird half light und anderes besser. Ich verwirre meine Frau mit meinen Aussagen. <lacht> ja, ohne den Alkohol hätten wir diese Probe nicht geschafft. Finde ich gut. Ähm, ich habe zwar keine Ahnung, was es mir gebracht hat, weil ähm, The Taste of Iron and Strawberries. Hm. What was that about the blood bath? I've already heard about the connection between the lynching and strike. But I need your testimony, okay. Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war, with possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. Ja, ich hoffe, wir sind dann nicht mehr da. Since you are sharing, ma'am, this is also the RCM's worst-case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Already heard about the connection. I have an indirect role to play. I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. Ah. They called it my security detail. A momentary lapse of faith? Do you need a security detail? <laughs> Beide Fragen sind nicht nett. Um... Um, yeah, we found that one. After I relayed the union's initial offer. Every worker. A member of the board. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not appreciate the humor. <laughs> yeah, the top managers are not so bekannt that they are full sind. Do you need a security Absolutely detail? Not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the union into surrendering. Okay. Who are they exactly? Cronell, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Das heißt, eine weitere Fraktion, die quasi hier irgendwas zu tun hat. Offensichtlich hat sie nicht wirklich vor, mit denen zusammenzuarbeiten. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stress disorder and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. Oh, toll. Ex-Soldaten mit Trauma. Das ist gut. Das führt immer, das führt immer zu den besten Lösungen. Ähm, und sie tragen Keramikarmer. Das heißt, einer von ihnen ist schon tot. So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. He okay. was taken out behind the whirling in rags. And lynched last Sunday night. Und dann? Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. Oh. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. Okay, das heißt, diese Typen werden äh, Hafenarbeiter umbringen. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Hm. <lacht> I've made a mess here. <lacht> ja, klar, wir könnten es auf sie schieben, so nach dem Motto. Hm. I have to say, this is not disco. <lacht> <lacht> ja, das ist gut. Das die Aussage ist nicht schlecht. Maybe the investigations can team up. You know, share resources and intelligence. Boy, oh boy, is that not good? Okay, I have to say this is not disco. Very far 
from Disco. My only hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before the mercenaries indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, yeah. If you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the union to respond. Könnte das Problem über kurz oder lang auch lösen? The debater have over 2,000 men. It will be 1,000 to 1. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. Ja, aber normalerweise gewinnen die Bienen. The Serais giant hornet, the world's second largest insect, can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of 30 can decimate an entire hive of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. Hmm. Danke, Enzyklopädie. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most union workers don't have guns at all. Ah ja, ja Waffen. Wir haben ja auch so viele davon. <coughs> As I said, a bloodbath. I can't see it happen. Too many things would have to go wrong first. This is a pretty bleak scenario you're describing. I think the confrontation is inevitable. Hmm. Das sind lauter langweilige Antworten. Ja, immer das zweite, das glaube ich geht gut. Scenarios have already come true. Nameless, badgeless detective of the citizens militia. <lacht> Nameless, badgeless detective of the militia. Oh, du bist so eine Kröte, weißt du? Ich versuche dir zu helfen und du bist gemein zu mir. All we can do is keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court and I may be able to defuse this situation. Okay. What can you tell me about Grenell? Not much. Their public resume is relatively good as far as private military contractors go. <laughs> I believe they were once called Downwell. Okay. They boast a long list of clients, Saint Baptiste, Welchmann Lorenz, Eindracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Mm -hmm. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Okay, das heißt, uh, Söldner, die irgendwo rumstehen und Einheimische abknallen, damit die uh, reichen Imperialisten alles einsacken können. Meaning they are used to operate in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Okay. Anything else you got on? Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. Ja. Das heißt, das ist alles deine Schuld, you meine. Have access to the ICP's database. You could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. Mm -hmm. You know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I would be dealing with a group like Cronell. Mm -hmm. Could you contact the company? Tell them to call them off? I have. And they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out of okay. the field. Until they do, it's all on us. Okay, okay, okay. Das heißt, die Company putzt sich ab, so nach dem Motto, wir können nichts tun. Ah, tut uns das leid. Es dauert einfach viel zu lang, die Administration durchzubringen. Finde ich gut, finde ich gut. She's being truthful. She is pressing them as hard as she can. Okay. Drama, du hast keine Ahnung. Zumindest dieses Mal. Ich habe mir eine ganz andere Meinung gemacht. You said the deceased assaulted a woman. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers. 
loitering around the canal. <laughs> oh, no. I cannot testify by it. Oh, God. Who did the passing on then? What did these teenagers by the canal say? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. Okay. The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Odd. Uh, we haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take place? And when? Last Sunday night, at the Whirling in Rags, the hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the colonel was drunk. Maybe on narcotics, too. Ha, wir könnten die Kellnerin fragen. Und da haben wir ja die Telefonnummer. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. And who was this woman? That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. Okay. You meet her soon enough, you feel. Nein, Inland Empire, geh weg. This colonel, the one who was hanged, did you know him? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes, but I did not know him. Lerly, his service name, a nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Tell me about the others. One is a man, Corty, they call him, a nickname as well. The other a woman, Phyllis de Paul. Corty is the gunner, I believe. De Paul is a radio operator. Okay, Phyllis de Paul is a good uh, ansatzpunkt um in the things nachzufragen. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. She closes her eyes trying to picture the man's face, then shakes her head. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, keine Sorge. The Blau. lieutenant was testing her, asking a small detail first to see if she knew him better than she let on. She passed. Oh, Logic, du bist so großartig. Wie konnte ich nur jemals Fälle ohne dich lösen? That's all right, ma'am. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age. Or gauge his facial expressions. Okay. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was, uh, occidental, I think. Like brown hair. A mixed accent, Oranese, or Messinian, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. Ich habe nicht den blassesten eines Schimmers, ob ich mir irgendwann noch mal merken muss, was all diese Länder sein sollen. Es ist absolut irre, dieses Spiel. Es wird die ganze Zeit mit Namen herumgeworfen. Keine Chance, keine Chance. Humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it, through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. Uh, where are the remaining two mercs now? Ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. Mm -hmm. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens' militia as I do. To be yeah. Frankly, they think you're vigilantes, ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. Okay, we'll steer clear for the moment. You're likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. Well, oh, okay. Auch hier wiederum die absolut beste, bestmögliche Chance, weil unser Logic Wert ist einfach schon sehr, sehr gut. Um, nur zwei Einser. Also machen wir doch glatt. One is obviously the scab leader at the harbor gates. Ah. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. 
He's barely maintaining his disguise. Ah, okay, gut. Einfach. Has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. <lacht> Sollen wir sie beeindrucken? Maybe so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? <coughs> your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. And one is probably in a building overlook. Would afford a good vantage point. In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Ja, nicht wenn wir gut sind. Ihm und mich. Den Where is your radio Pop. for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. There's a short wave at the ship's wheel. Aha. I hope I can answer it better. How much time do we have? The execution start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. Okay. Let's report their progress to you. Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. Okay. It's a matter of days, not weeks. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you with, please ask. Okay, also, leave me jetzt mal mit den Tattoos. Excuse my hesitation before. Uh, yep. For about half a minute in silence. It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. They quiet observed the woman's expression. The mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. The pearls of her eyes move slowly on the photo's surface. Uh, sorry. I was trying to see if I can read the web of interdependencies between these points. The stars. Okay. She points to one on the third. I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location on the body and distance from each other tells you what they represent. Port cities. On the oceans. This is an Oranese map of the waterways, a sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Delorean century. As early as 300 years ago, okay. sailors would mark their bodies to map their travels. Uh, okay. Quite a few. Where is he? The Oranese capital traditionally stands on the right shoulder. He started somewhere near here, I think. Okay. What next? Then he made his way to the Petto Grangi, through what I think must be the Stutz Canal, an artificial channel through the Occident. From the Petto, he sailed to the Insulindic Ocean, first the Semnes Islands, then this. Okay. Well, uh... Those are the two constants. Vedafort on the shoulder and Revachol in the heart. They started the tradition of these maps right after the discovery of Insulinde, at the dawn of the Interislary Age. Okay. The old, old world passing by and the new, new world already here. Good. You said you can't read it. I can't. This man was no sailor and these are no ports. I can understand geographic fragments, but not their meaning. Okay. Uh, 
Um, what is the use of this map? The sailor's soul would use it to fly back home if they should die abroad. This is a sort of contraption to be reeled back in by. The silver cord, they would call it. Mm -hmm. Where is he now? Was? Er hängt auf dem Baum. Er am Herzen also. Wir sind in Revajol. This one is going nowhere but the morgue. I've spoken to him. For now, the soul is fastened inside his... This one has flown quite far by now. Nowhere. There is no soul. Hm. Wenn wir das nehmen, geben wir unserem Inland Empire wieder nach. Naja, wieso nicht? precisely what the sailors feared when they drew these maps. A fear of drowning within one's own corpse. Okay. Who could tell me more? His platoon members? The other contractors. Though I do not suggest you go and show them that picture. This man was their friend and comrade. Okay. Surely there are other people to ask about the tattoos. This is not necessary to complete the task, officer. It's a dangerous side task. Search elsewhere. Thank you, Encyclopedia. I know what I do. I need the information. Mark it down as ask Merks about the two. You're right. Not a good idea. Leave it off the schedule. I am relieved you think so. I don't think deciphering that tattoo should come before public security. That's all for the tattoo. Thank you for your help. Is there anything else I can help you with? Tja, wir könnten Sie noch mehr Fragen zur Realität fragen, aber ich würde sagen, das lassen wir, weil die Zeit ist schon um 18 Uhr. Wir müssen mit den Hardy Boys auch noch reden. Ja, ich komme dann später nochmal her. Tja, wir sind ganz weit gekommen, würde ich was sagen. Wir haben was über die Tattoos herausgefunden. Wir haben sogar ein neues Level gekriegt. Wir haben jetzt drei Dings. Vielleicht. Sollten wir. Da ein bisschen. Schauen wir mal. Na, machen wir noch nicht. Ähm, wie weit sind wir hier? Ah, wir haben gerade ein Minus 1 auf Perception. Okay, gut. Ähm, aber das ist bald fertig. 75% haben wir schon. Gut, dann würde ich fast sagen, meine lieben Freunde, wir hören auf für heute. Ähm, ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Nächste Mal, wenn ich aufdrehe, bin ich bei den Hardy Boys. Bis dann. Bis gleich.